And St. Louis Mayor Lida Krusen is leading the city through what could be a dark winter of COVID. She sat down with Fox 2's Vic Faust to discuss what's happened and what's next. The virus is raging in our community. Lots of cases, sickness, hospitalizations, and even death. But St. Louis Mayor Lida Krusen says all things considering, the city is holding its own. The people, the residents, and the businesses in the city of St. Louis have done a great job over these past nine plus months. While Cruzen wants her city's COVID numbers lower, they are the best in the metropolitan area, comparatively speaking. We have, this is seven day rolling average, about 45 new cases per 100,000 people per day. If you're in St. Charles County, it's 77. If you're in Jefferson County, it's over 100. If you're in St. Louis County, it's 66 or 67. State of Missouri, 66, 67. St. Louis City businesses have looser restrictions in St. Louis County and restaurants and bars are open for inside service. Are you looking at data? Because it seems like you are. We look at the data literally every single day to keep people safe, but to also keep people employed. And this balancing act is, is, a, is a difficult one, but you have to rely on the data. I asked the mayor, how do we get through what appears to be a long winter ahead? Mitigation. Wear your mask, socially distance, keep your group small. Mayor Krusen understands that everyone is exhausted with COVID, but she says the vaccine will be in St. Louis next week. She calls that a light on the other side of the horizon. Healthcare workers and the most vulnerable will have first access. It is going to take a while. And so by the time someone who's not in any of those groups has the vaccine available, it, it might be March. April, May, in, in the spring timeframe. Vic Faust, Fox 2 News.